we're here at the Space Center, uh, Johnson, uh, NASA, over, over here in Houston, man. It's so cool, man, just to be, be here, man. I, I love it. Just looking at the outside, we have a, a plane on top of a plane, and that's pretty dope. <laughs> yeah, it's like pretty much my first time here, pretty much because the last time I came here, I was I was a young kid. You know, I, was, I couldn't remember anything. Super cool just to be able to dive into what the astronauts and what the technology that they went on the first trip to the uh, trip to the moon, you know, just out of here, man, it's super amazing, it's super cool, like, I, I am astonished. It's just a moon rock. <laughs> <laughs> like that one off the bucket list. Oh, yeah. The one thing that kind of tripped me out was never there was one exhibit where we walked in and they had that rotating guy that just was just kept spinning. That one tripped me out, it freaked me out, because I wouldn't expect it, just look up in the corner, you just see, like, a... a a humanoid type of thing just spinning but not uh, no the whole thing has just been was real uh, was real eye-opening fighting is very super chaotic but also you train for those moments you're constantly in the gym working hours and hours and hours just like the the people in the astronauts you know whenever they're trying to go off into space they're training hours and hours and hours and hours uh, but the sim the biggest similarities to me is the amount of work and the amount of adjustments that you have to make in camp and then for them in preparation to lifting off. My Mars is, is honestly, is just getting into into title contention because at the end of the day, as they say, uh, you don't shoot for you don't shoot for the moon, you shoot for the stars. You know, so that's where that's where it is. Uh, Mars for me is title contention, and uh, the stars for me is the belt. <laughs>